Hey, it's Sara Ines Calderon with New Stockle. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about um, blood donation. I'm about to go donate blood. So before you go, as I have, you have to drink a lot of water. you got to be hydrated. I also just ate an apple with some peanut butter so that I've eaten something before I donate. And I'm going to head over to the blood donation center and we're going to see what the rest of the process is like. So I'll see you there. Hold on a second. <music> So I made an appointment and I came in and all I have to do now is read the donor education materials packet which gives me some good information about blood donation and some side effects and other things that I need to know and then I have to make sure my information is correct on my donor sheet, answer a few questions and on the back answer a couple dozen questions about my blood. So I'm done signed it. I'm going to go take it back up and we're going to go with the phlebotomist. So I was with the phlebotomist and they took my pulse and they checked my blood pressure and they poked my little finger to check on my iron and now we're going to go and I'm actually going to donate blood. So I have small veins so it's always a struggle to see where they can get the blood out but I still think it's important to donate blood so the way we're going to do it is I'm going to start pumping on this thing here right after she puts this blood pressure cuff. So what she's doing is she's trying to find a vein which hopefully when you donate blood it won't be such a big deal but in my case it's something that is always a problem but once she finds a vein it'll be real easy for her to put the needle in and I'll be donating, no big deal big stick and a little stain, okay? okay But as long as as long as you're squeezing, we're gonna do we're gonna do pretty good, okay? So here I am donating blood, and um, it's gonna take a little longer sometimes for me to fill up the blood thingy, but I think it's worth it. I think it's important, so that's why I do it. So we're just gonna have to wait a little while. So I just donated blood, and we had a little bit of a difficulty, so I ended up doing it in both arms. But it's no big deal. I'm glad that I did it. Now I'm going to have a little bit of juice and some Chex Mix, and I'll be on my way. And they're going to call me back in a couple months so I can donate again. So if you want more information about donating blood, I'm going to put a link at the end of the video and you can visit that link. And otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. And I hope you this inspires you in some way to donate blood yourself. Hasta luego. Thanks for, thanks for reading New Stockholm.